Hello, Arts Alive. It's Mr. Eddie Roque coming at you from my studio. We're looking lovely San Pedro. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to learn about stencil making. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit of history behind stenciling on posters, on shirts, even my favorites on canvases and certain uh, well appropriated walls. Anyhow, uh, come with me. Uh, we're going to look at uh, some stencil together in different layers. Today we're going to work in two layers. We're going to work on a background and then the foreground. The foreground is going to be a silhouette. You know that darkened outline of our beautiful bodies and faces? Well, that's what we're going to use uh, as the uh, second layer of our stencil art. We're also going to use a type of style called graffiti. Now graffiti art has evolved since its uh, early days in the 1970s. Today graffiti art is sold at some of the most prestigious houses of arts and, and, and housed and exhibited in some of the most prestigious museums. The most famous that uh, you can hear about out there is a guy named Banksy. Nobody knows what he looks like. We've been looking for the spot for about 45 minutes. Every morning in the past week, the city of Los Angeles has woken up to a new piece of street art by famed London artist Banksy, often plastered on the side of a building. Banksy is nominated for an Academy Award for his documentary called Exit Through the Gift Shop. It's about street artists like himself. The film is uh, the story of what happened when this guy tried to make a documentary about me, but he was uh, actually a lot more interesting than I am. Also, uh, Shepard Fairley, he's a local LA kid who uh, made the very memorable poster of former President Obama on his first campaign. It's a blue and white uh, portrait uh, that says hope at the bottom, very beautiful. He's uh, made uh, plenty of other uh, pieces since then. Uh, a lot of his art was exhibited uh, in the Melrose area where his studio is at, and you can go see some real masterworks of stencil art and graffiti art. Some of the materials we're going to use today are scissors, we're going to use tape, we are going to use uh, printer paper, and we're going to use construction paper. Okay. We're also going to use acrylic or watercolor paints. All right. 
and we're gonna have two kinds of brushes remember uh, if you uh, were ever in one of my art uh, at your fingertips classes you know that I am a lover of technique and of tools today we're going to use two very specific tools to create our art we're going to use a mop brush or a watercolor brush some a brush that is a lot softer in uh, on its tips a lot more loose bristles so it can pick up a lot of good water and the second will be a flat acrylic brush and i'll show you those later okay uh, we're also going to use um, <clears throat> either a printout, an iPad, or a computer screen. Okay, and I'll show you the examples of those later too. Anyhow, um, well, we're going to go to our work table and leave our studio. All right, we're at our work table. So, as you can see here, I have a printout of my silhouette. It's a two layered silhouette so I will be printing out two copies okay and you'll see why uh, as we move on later okay uh, you can also use the silhouette picture off an iPad you would still need two pieces of construction paper okay um, same thing with the computer screen two pieces of paper because you'll be tracing out the darker image of the person and then the silhouette of the king okay as you can see I have rainbow colors all right uh, we're gonna be mixing uh, two of these colors to make up the missing color that we have here um, red and blue when mixed together make purple and that will be our bottom color uh, in our rainbow now remember I said we're going to use graffiti style, so when we get to our tools, I'll uh, show you how we're going to make it look graffiti styled uh, using the tools. Now this plate here, as you can see, it's a pretty well used plate. Um, and this is my mixing plate, so when I mix my red and blue in here to make purple, then I can transfer it onto the paper. Okay, the other tools, remember I, I was mentioning about a nice loose brush, well, Here's what I'm talking about. Today I'm going to be using this one. Uh, big loose bristles, soft tip. Okay, it's going to hold a lot of water uh, to give me the effect uh, that I want. Um, for smaller pieces like yours, you can use a, a nice good old fashioned large watercolor brush. This one, as you can see, is round and this one is flat. Um, brushes come in both styles uh, for every kind of artwork watercolor or uh, soft acrylic round flat uh, oil and acrylic round flat so on and so forth okay is that flat one so we're going to be making the rainbow with these watercolor ones and the uh, graffiti image silhouette with the flat uh, we are going to use scissors today um, if you don't feel comfortable cutting on your own, you can ask your parents to help you out, cut out our printout. Uh, <clears throat> you'll still be need, needing uh, the scissors if you trace your image, and you'll cut out the image that you trace. And then, finally, tape. You'll see what the tape is for. That's so that we can tape, off, tape back up the starting line that we begin our uh, stencil with. Alright, and let's get started. All right, welcome back to our work board. Now I moved everything that I wasn't going to use out of the way just to give me enough workspace with my stencil. So if you have uh, these printouts, uh, then what you can do is we'll make a starting cut line and then cut out the darker image first. And then we'll take our second copy and cut out just a cape image. Okay. Um, here I altered these. I couldn't find a good one. Uh, we'll do all silhouettes. So I added a little bobbed haircut um, outline. You can add point pigtails or even uh, continue the long hair going all the way down if you'd like uh, to 
to be able to alter this answer image. Um, uh, later on, I'll be cutting into oh, check. For now, let's work with these. Okay. So, like I said, uh, we're going to have a starting line. We're only going to cut out the darker image. So, I like to start down off uh, near the leg and the foot and then work my way around. separate from where the actual leg is. Try to get those edges to well, completely. And look, that's what we're left with. Yes. Tape. And we do have to tape this part here. As you can see I had a little tear there where we put tape. But you know, I had Tape on this part here, closing it off. I need to get to both sides. Now that is just the silhouette here, okay? That we took care of. We have to now cut out the cape. That's why we have the two printouts or two half traced outlines. So we'll put out put this one out to the side. We got our center second print. We'll cut this out okay. So we're gonna start our cut line way across here. And we're just going to cut out the cape. I'm going to take that up before I show you if it doesn't fall apart. Like a floppy pancake. Ooh, got a little tear in there. I'm holding the one. That's what the tape is for. Tape, 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 tape. More tape. There we go. So I just cut off that part. So now we have, you know. A little bit here, how to keep some wet, and we'll get our construction paper. All right, we got our construction paper. I'm gonna use this for my construction paper. You can have white construction paper that you normally use, you know, nice thicker fabric, thicker uh, uh, pound board on it. Uh, here we go. We're gonna start off with our colors. So we need some paper towels. Further finish cleaning your brush. I just ripped it out live. This is happening live. Alright, let's set it up so that I can have oh my colors. Oh, there we go. Okay. I got clean and dipping. Let's start with a rainbow. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time to complete because we have to let this part dry first and then move into the stencil. All right. All right. But, uh, the bottom color, remember, is purple. Now we have to mix that color. So I'm going to bring in 
my mixing plate the Control over to the blue. And because it's acrylic, when I do that, it doesn't really mix very much. And it's only when I get it really screwed in to here. Be sure to pause at any moment to be so that you can keep up with what we're doing. Right, here we go. I'm gonna put my on my first. I'm gonna get a lot and dip a little bit more water before I put it down. Here we go. A very wet brush. Very wet. Here we go. Now we want that drip effect, so we're gonna pick up paper. You can even come in a little bit more. You can use a little bit more color and water to the first color. And a little drip. You can drip off the paper, that's okay. Come in carefully. Give little spots. There we go. And drip down. See, you can really help it a lot. I didn't even blow on it. And, and this is where I meant, uh, you know, we need to be able to give, be patient and give this time some time to dry. You can see it's going to be pretty wet. Here's our first bottom with rainbow color. Purple. It'll probably take a couple of hours. Um, if your parents will let you, you can use the blow dryer and use that to speed it up. I don't know, I'm gonna use two stencils on this one image. Uh, you might have just the one, but if you use multiple stencils, you can do it the same way. Find a placement for your first image. Lay it down, okay? We're gonna go back and this time use our flatter acrylic brush. It's a um, <clears throat> stronger brush. You can still use the watercolor brush, either one. Uh, but here uh, I'm going to go ahead, just in case you only have a watercolor brush, I'll use that too. You'll need your black paint now. Okay, solid black paint. Okay, this time we're not going to mix it with any water. You want a just straight black either watercolor or acrylic or whatever it is you're using. I'm going to use its strongest potency. Okay, and we're going to paint over what we have here. Alright, once you're done with that first stencil, pull it up. 
peel it away from your rainbow. Look what you have left behind. Look at that. Look at that, Power Girl. All right. Next is our second. Uh, I can get it out of the way. Second pencil. Now you'll want to let that dry completely also. Come back in a couple more hours. In this case, we'll speed up the process just a little bit. We'll go a good distance apart. Okay. Let's go back to our black here. Nice solid. Black, paint around the edges or Cape doesn't change. Okay. Now, for the cape, I thought instead of making it another solid black, let's give it another solid color so we can give it a solid red for him. Now, as you can see, the colors are mixing a little because I haven't given it enough time to dry. But it's okay. As long as we follow the edges of our um, print, should be, we should be okay. Dry. All right. Once we let this thing fully dry, and you still have some white space within your construction paper, you can grab a marker, uh, preferably black, uh, but any color marker would be fine, and you can go ahead and fill it up with other inspirational messages. In this case. Don't forget to sign it. All right. Now the great thing about uh, poster art like this stencil art is that you can make multiple copies. Like you can make a rainbow 15 different times, let that dry, and go down and lay, lay down uh, uh, the first stencil, boom, 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 15 times. I'll let it dry seconds so then like and so a lot of the times when you create prints like this artists will number them like for example because this is a stenciled print 
And I'm gonna say this is one of one. This will be the only time I make it. This is it. I already crumpled up and threw away the uh, stencils that created this. <laughs> well, what do you think? Stenciled art. All right, hey, welcome back, Arts Alive. Thank you so much for going through that stencil adventure with me. Um, you can uh, always go back and watch this again and uh, master your stenciling skills. Um, here I have my uh, stencil art going. I got a couple of layers down. One, two, three layers to be exact. I'll be putting down a fourth, then a fifth, finally a sixth layer on this one poster art stencil. Here, let's see what it looks like. Thank you again, Arts Alive. 